If I put in every single time that you did that. Max. Okay, so he's naked in a tree. Oh. I guess you transformed, buddy. Yeah, I mean, I was wondering the same thing. What? How the hell am I gonna get down? <laughs> well, that's a way. Ask an answer. Ask an answer. <laughs> Oh no. Wait, so I'm pretty sure I guessed this earlier on. Was he the werewolf that attacked Emma at this cabin? Has to be. Well, he was stuck on the island. Yeah, has to be. Oh, is that the clothes that Emma took? Well. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo. You're looking quite manly, bro. Oh Look at them my cheeks. Gosh. Did you see Couture who? Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, man. Totally could have had a great night, went to Bone Town. Could have got some tit love. Like shit, man. <laughs> but now we're stuck in the middle of the fucking woods. In a juicy with, couture. With vam uh, werewolves. I keep wanting to say vampires. They don't look like werewolves to me. Yeah, they're kind of creepy looking. But I'm pretty sure we've came to a conclusion that they're werewolves. They were talking about bears for a long time, too, and you'd assume, oh, whose hat is this? Laura's hat. She must have come back. Oh, why is everybody barefoot? This has got to suck, the amount of rocks and sticks you're stepping on. Like, look at this, dude. You're telling me if I walk right here, this is comfortable. I wouldn't even be stepping on that. Oh, babe, you're, um... I can only imagine them stepping on a nail. Oh, no, he's a werewolf. I'm not getting in the water. But we got in the water with Laura, and it cured her. But he doesn't have any injuries. Swim to shore, stay. I don't see any problem on this island. I think I'm just gonna leave you here. The fuck you gonna swim back for? To go save her? Hello? Caitlin. The table, help me. What are we getting the table for? I thought you killed it. You dropped a fucking car on it. There's more than one. Yeah, but there's three dead now. How many hey, could there really be? Is, right? Great. <laughs> Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Right. Oh. We should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great. I think they're all dead, man. All right.
Every single one of them I killed. I didn't show no remorse. The only one I kind of felt sorry for was the big guy. It's he was. Be like six dang, years. look at her butt. That's a typical Brenda song butt. That's gotta be her actual butt or something. Like, it's just too small and perfect. It's gotta be her butt. Where am I supposed to be looking, though? What do you want me to do? Well, we're not going in any doors, so might as well. Okay. Guess we aren't going this way, either. Hey, you wanted me to go up these stairs the whole time and I circled the whole damn cafeteria? Get the fuck out of my way! Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, RIP megaphone. RIP Jacob. I did everything I could, man. A ring. Oh. Okay, let's go sell it. Where have I seen this emblem before? I can't see the emblem. Inscribe jewelry. Bobby oh, Hackett. A ring. What was Bobby the, the fat dude? Oh, very fancy. Yeah. Or not even fat. Like he was like bigger than Mike Tyson. Tapes. Trail VHS. It's like they're looking for something. <laughs> it's crazy how some people don't even know what VHSs are. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room, he's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Well, Chris Hack is dead. I blew his head off. I'm so sorry, David Arquette. If there is a way I could have saved you, you know I would have. I've about eight to nine people have died in this one fucking playthrough and I'm not even done with it can't wait to see what else is gonna go wrong What the fuck do you want me to do, man? I hate games like this. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> this leads nowhere. Where the fuck? Put the shot glasses on the floor and pour a shot. It's getting hot. 
Yeah. Poor Ian. Rip Some Ian. camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? <laughs> no, we did. But you didn't hear? Hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. That's the camp mascot goat <laughs> with the collar from the first episode. Okay, so if you're standing in front of that door, does that mean... Okay, dude, I'm so confused. What the fuck? How long has this guy been here? Ancestral post ago. portrait. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Keep looking, prepare for attack. I mean, I feel like I've looked. I have a shotgun. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Like mates for life, we're proud to say. Sick. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> that would be me, though. Like, who's gonna le learn this corny ass line, bro? I'll help the kids and, like, be a nice guy, but. Am I finna. Oh, it's here. We didn't prepare enough. It's coming through the chimney. Showtime, motherfuckers. Angry Brenda song. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long Okay. <gasps> what was that? Okay. What the fuck? What the? Oh. What the fuck? I'm sorry? Did I offend you? When I called you a vampire, did you get offended? <laughs> um, can we just hold our breath and act like we're not here? Wait or run? I'm not running for shit. Wait. I'm finna shoot him as soon as he comes up. I'm finna pop his fucking shit in. I don't give a fuck who this is. If it's Nick, okay. We die. We lost him again. We lost him again. Oh fuck. Shoot him again. 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 You're telling me you didn't shoot straight enough to knock him the fuck out? And then you think that... They, they, how is that chair... Okay, once again, they didn't put the chair up right either. Oh my god. I gotta help her. I gotta help her. How are you gonna do that, honey? Oh... I don't know who this is, but I swear I'm finna push your shit back. I've lost too many characters, you're already dead. I can time this right. Okay. Beam window. Beam. 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 Wait, no, no, no. I, I thought beam is in light. Oh. Why did I do that? I mean, what am I going to do with the window, though?
Hide, 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 hide. What are we running for, dude? Bro, hey Dylan, come on. She said sorry. Oh my God. Oh Dylan. You okay, buddy? Dylan. Hold your fucking breath, son. Don't move a muscle. Path chosen. Oh, I'm so fucking pissed. What? You've got to be kidding me. I've gotten everyone killed. This is my last life. Do you fucking see this? What did I do wrong? You told me to hold my fucking breath. So I held my breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this okay. We're still hiding. Um play it smart, babe. There's only one, one other way I can do this and this is my last life, so It's when the red goes off of the screen. It's got to be. That's the last time I ever listen to my mind. As soon as he starts walking toward him, I'm booking it. Fuck Dylan. Right? Fuck Dylan. Fuck him. Dude, shoot him, at least. Maybe help your homeboy. She just left him. Why were you sitting there blankly? I can't believe I got her killed too. Over here, Caitlin! Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. Oh, we have time. We don't, but Dude, I'm Dude, fuck Dylan. Investigate. What's gonna harm me enough? She's got to give me something, right? The silver Don't bullet. Yourself. If I didn't go to her, I'd be fucked again. I missed! Slammed as soon as I loaded, I swear. Can I just cut that out? No. It shows it! It's path chosen. I fucked her. I I actually did that. Why couldn't it be him?
inquisitive. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. Just now? No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. That was pretty... yeah. What happened Bird. in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now this I'm so angry. Here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. You're telling so you me I is? had one of the worst How the hell are we going to find him just driving down the middle of the road? Holy! Oh, my goodness. We found him! I wasn't paying attention. I would have just smashed my head in. I, I don't have any remorse anymore. What is... Grab the gun, take the wheel. Grab the gun? Grab the grab the gun. Tell me I fuck up again. Tell me I wake up. Tell me I fucked up again. Oh, they're such a great duo. Motherfucker, run his dumb ass over. Go, 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 go. Go! <sighs> Watch him get the fuck up. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. Holy shit. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? No. I've got too many people fucking killed. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. Yeah, I've Can realized that. Better this isn't the end. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Go team. kind of like this trio. I was just talking shit about Ryan, but I mean, as long as I can get everybody out of here. I feel like every character but Laura, Abby, and yeah, that's probably about it. It's pissed me the fuck off. Max is cool, too. This has got to be the end of the game. God 
Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. I don't. I know. Her? Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Eliza. Mother. I think. Who was she, you think? Per Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. It's kind of fucked up. But I mean, if he could hurt, or hurt people. Some say she never left. Why let him out? The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? It's your fault, isn't it? Somebody in your family. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Clearly not. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn? Just like my playthrough. The whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Reflective. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Hmm. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. I hear something. I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. How could you not know this is here? Oh! Ryan? Fall! Shit. I'm sorry. I almost oh, cried, shit. dog. I got a tear in my eye from that. What the fuck? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. I spit all over myself, man. <laughs> Fuck! That was so loud! And random, too. Oh. Just get me done with this game. I'm not enjoying it anymore. I fucked the whole playthrough. That must be it. Careful. I'll be honest, I trust her with the gun more than more than both of them, so. Oh my god, is it him? No hesitation, push his shit back. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. My god. He's ugly as fuck. No hesitation. It wants us to be nice because it's this lady's son, but I'm gonna be honest to you. 
I don't give a fuck. Shoot your stupid girl. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Blue is shit pack, motherfucker. That's for all the pain you put me through this series. I kind of feel bad. But the amount of people I lost, man. Please, let's just let's just go before we That can't be it, right? Like human form. It's too late for that. It's too late for that. He already changed back to human that quick. Why'd you look back in the first place? We didn't get to see it. Okay. Is that it? The white wolf killed Silas. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I, yeah. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I you did help me, like and I betrayed you, Not and I'm okay with it. Not after this. You were the bad lady. I forget what you made them do to my Silas. You scared me the whole game. All night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Oh. Okay, so I guess that's it. Wow. I thought it would have some big ending or something. It's morning time, yeah. Who's this? Oh, that's just raw and mushrooms? Yeah, <laughs> thought it was my laying down. Damn, dude, I really fucked Caitlyn and Jacob. I redeemed, I redeemed Caitlyn just to fuck her 15 minutes later. Not even. Max alive, having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Okay. Bobby Hackett deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. So Chris killed him. Chris Hackett. David Arquette was killed by his favorite counselor, Ryan. Shot him with silver. Oh, Constance. Ugh. Laura shot Constance in the face in a struggle for the gun. Jedediah was choked to death and vengeful uh, by vengeful Laura. Yeah, man, I didn't really give a shit. Jacob, deceased. Jacob was killed by a werewolf Nick after Ryan abandoned him in Hackett's basement. I did not abandon him. Kaylee, ha this, uh, who took, mistook her for Chris. Okay. Nick, he survived. And Nick survived the night when Laura killed Silas. Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. Abby. Abby alive. After surviving the storm shelter with werewolf Emma, Abigail made it to Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night thanks to Laura, Laura killing Silas was cured. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge in, from Caleb in the kitchen. Okay. Caitlin was killed oh, when she failed. Man. Caleb Hackett. Return to his human form. Oh my gosh. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf I infection. Blah, 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 blah. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing everybody infected person. Every infected person. And there's Silas. The curse of the Hackett's Quarry is broken. Wow. What a game.
Is that, like, supposed to be the FBI pulling up? Wow, that... That's crazy. Wow. Is that it? Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. Bum, bum, How do you make bum. that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Is that just an unsolved murder? <coughs> I, I suppose that is what Come on, journalists bro. would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. <laughs> okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the so podcast three months of the paranormal. Ago. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Is this real what Ryan was listening to? With Bizarre Bonafide, yeah. Spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven, uh, row of cobblestones what about being murdered if you dropped your phone you wouldn't go missing where are they now 
I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? <laughs> We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of this, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here? My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My God, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. So? So? What do you think? Wow. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting more, I guess. Why do people always say that to me? It'll be carved on your gravestone when you die. So dark. I know. Well, this is what we got. We gotta try and throw all the evidence together. Time to ink up our brain pens and ink draw up our some our brain pens? Disgusting. You've never heard that phrase? It's a classic phrase. A classic phrase. Who said it first? Leave me alone. I'm tired. So, that it? What? No more cute photos to show? No, just the one. They only sent this, whoever they may be. I think we're being played. Well... Yeah, I'm out. This is nowhere near bona fide in my book. What? Quality over quantity. But only one, but very convincing. Right, but shouldn't it be both? And with no way to verify who your source is, a teenager who is bullying you, it doesn't matter how many pieces of evidence are dug up. Fine. Fine. I suppose you win. Hey, chin up. The integrity of this podcast relies on my cynicism. Think of it as quality control. All right. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. And hey, I'm not saying that whatever happened wasn't weird, but I just can't honestly say anything else about it. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp remains shrouded in mystery because my friend Anton here, and we are just friends to everyone asking about our natural chemistry in what? the comments. As usual, Anton cannot be convinced. I hope you had fun anyways, and don't worry. We're always on the hunt for supernatural occurrences. Or natural occurrences. Supernatural occurrences. We're actually more interested in super because super is better than nothing in the hope that one day we will prove one as bizarre yet bona fide. For now, though, I guess some things are better left in the dark. The only people who will ever know the truth are those who experience these things. As for us, we're just happy you're listening. Thank you, and see you next time, bona fighters. You gotta stop calling them that. <laughs>